Yo! Today we're gonna go over the newest and most comprehensive super shoe or carbon plated shoe study released to date. If you're not familiar with this study, an old friend slash racing buddy of mine, Dustin Jobert, who went to Texas A&M and got his PhD in exercise science, led a study of 16 runners using all of the major super shoe brands that are out right now and just this morning released for the preprint. For the past five years, everybody has been chasing Nike, and now we have the hard proof that although other companies do have their own super shoe out, Nike is still producing the fastest shoe for most runners. So let's get into these results. The results have been broken down into three tiers of shoes. The top tier where you have the Nike Alpha Fly, the Nike Vaporfly, and the Asics Meta Speed, all producing about 3% improvement in running economy. And then we have the second tier of shoe, the Saucony Endorphin Speed and the New Balance RC Elite, both producing about a percent and a half improvement in running economy. And in the third tier, we have what essentially are the duds, the Brooks Hyperion Elite and the Hoka Rocket X, which didn't fare much better at all than the control shoe, a more traditional shoe, the Asics Hyperspeed. The shoes were tested in a random sequence over eight five-minute time trials at 16 kilometers an hour with five minutes rest between trials on visit one, and then they were reversed slash mirrored for the second visit. Now, importantly, People hear Nike 4% and these improvements, we've mentioned this earlier, but it's an improvement in running economy, not running speed. So the way Dustin went about measuring running economy was to measure the runner's VO2 at 16 kilometers an hour in these different shoes. And we can clearly see that there's a significant difference across the brands that resulted in the tiered breakdown we just went over. So in conclusion, it appears that maybe with the exception of the Asics Meta Speed, these shoe companies have not caught up to the Nike Alpha Fly and the Nike Vaporfly in terms of running economy increases in efficiency. Once the entire peer-reviewed study is released, I'll do another video, we'll talk about it in a bit more detail. But right now, based on the pre-write-up, it appears very conclusive that the Nike Alpha Fly is still the king of shoes and most of the other stuff is just marketing.